Okay. I think it's on. Yeah. Uh, hello, guys. Uh, just ignore my voice. So, hello, guys. This is Mr. Isometric, and welcome back to Answers Tutorial number five. And in this tutorial, we will complete our stepped bar and uh, we will also complete some basic features of ANSYS and today in this tutorial at the end I will also show the new feature of uh, ANSYS which is space claim and how to draw in space claim it's very easy to draw in space claim sorry uh, and to model in space claim so let's get started I think my voice is clear. Okay, so our answers is opened and it's perfectly fine. Uh, today the process hasn't taken too much time. So for doing step bar analysis, we will again go to static structure and if we have to do uh, some temperature or uh, analysis so we have to go in steady state thermal but we will first uh, try to give it give it a torque and today I will show how to give a torque on a model okay now I am saving my project Okay, so this is actually I will rename it as TUT uh, number five. Now my all experiments are over from the manuals. Uh, this problem is taken from the lecture notes. In lecture, we have solved one step bar problem, we, which has some torque applied to it, and it's okay so my project is saved so okay uh, we'll not bother engineering data today uh, and at the end of the video i'll show how to use this space claim geometry it's very easy to use okay so i'll not bother today telling that how to sketch in my previous video i have already uh, said so uh, given very basic details on how to draw i'll just draw oh yeah and there is a stepped bar uh, which is which is a uh, first bar connected to uh, there are three uh, different diameter bars connected to each other first diameter is 100 the second bar diameter is 30 and uh, the third diameter is 50 uh, and each of their lengths are 450 mm 400 mm and 500 mm respectively so the okay the same mistake we need to convert in millimeter oh, now i need to delete this oh fuck. delete just select it and delete it Awesome. We'll zoom it a little bit. Yeah, normal. Now we need a circle as the cross section is circular. Uh, we, we can tell from the diameter. Dimensions. Diameter. Give it a diameter. The diameter is uh, 100. Now we'll extrude it get in an isometric view as my name is mr isometric uh, i have done lots of video on uh, solidworks too and i will in future uploads i will be uploading it with my voice with my padado pc and shitty mic okay so the diameter is 100 and the length is 450 now uh, we don't have to make a separate plane to sketch on this 
plane as the second bar is connected uh, starts from here we just need to go in planes select this plane and uh, sketch now automatically we will be sketching on this plane select a circle it doesn't matter how many tutorials you watch unless you actually do practice on the PC oh, you should give it a try one time so that so the second diameter is 30 done you should actually give it a try if you have a very good memory still you can't use ANSYS by just watching the tutorials because the when you actually draw something here and you get over here oh no shit uh, where to give the dimensions where to uh, you probably will get confused and you'll do mistakes such as for when you use ANSYS first time you uh, obviously going to do mistakes such as not clicking the generate button uh, not clicking the apply button and may main thing is that uh, let me show you uh, this this one two three four, these four buttons up here are very important uh, while selecting you should at uh, while uh, meshing uh, at that time so, so many people just click on this face and uh, keeps on selecting the each and every face that's not important and it's time consuming you can directly select the body and uh, just select each body and now i will show you this uh, this in today's video lecture so geometry yeah uh, okay what we were doing we need to extrude that okay apply uh, and uh, yeah it's length is okay the diameter was 30 and the length is 400 done now generate okay now again we need to sketch on this plane as the in question says also we need to just select the plane select it go to sketching go to normal and now make a circle it's on the center yeah and one more thing whenever it comes to a center it changes its look and now it's uh, the cursor is bit oval shaped uh, now whenever it comes in the middle it changes it to rectangle so that uh, keep in mind whenever you are uh, don't just as a uh, directly click here the circle will no, not be perfect let's delete that okay uh, i hope you're understanding me what i'm i want to say now the diameter of this circle is 50 and now we just need to extrude it apply and uh, diameter and the length is 500 mm generate as you can see our problem is ready uh, uh, it's not actually a problem it's a model tk abhi hum log ka model ready ho chuka hai save it it's good practice to save as i always say now go to model and edit the model let's edit the model well, there are too many things give it a time just be patient okay it's done yeah now it's done so in our problem this face and this face both are fixed and uh, i think the torque is uh, as the problem is in 2d uh, we can see that the torque is applied over here and here on this edge i think so we will apply first torque on this edge then we will apply torque on this face this and this face okay uh, so let's do it let's just generate a mesh first 
now as you can see the mesh generated is generated is quite big and it's circular cross because due to its circular cross section the mesh generated here is not quite good so what what i have uh, tried actually was inserting a sizing option and selecting a geometry now obviously i have uh, said it earlier that don't select this face because when we select this face and try we need to uh, select everything uh, it if you see now this face is not selected and it become hectic and sometime we lost our some faces to select so what we have to do is just click on the geometry and done everything is selected it selects whole body apply and uh, we will decrease the element size to 0 0.1 meters and now we will do it generate see the mesh doesn't change that much it's actually the same uh, so we, what we'll do is we again I will show you by lowering its size which is zero zero one now we'll click generate mesh oh I think it will take some time. Oh, I think it will take too much of time. Oh, shit. Uh, at this point, uh, that's why I said uh, always to save your projects. Because if this take too much time, then don't worry. Just stop it. Now it's meshing this area. Okay, now it's meshing that area. Oh, come on. To avoid such problems, I have one solution which I will show you now. Okay. It's good to have errors. We'll just delete this. And in mesh, we will go to sizing and size function from and we'll change size function from adaptive to proximity and curvature and just click generate mesh see now our uh, generated mesh is more finer where it's needed more is it good now yeah it's good hey uh, why do we try this why uh, i'm just trying something this is first time i'm doing this uh, the body apply and default size is zero okay element size to one i guess no let's just make it more fine at 0 0.1 now if we generate a mesh oh it's crap just delete it okay so for finer mesh you can choose that option it will automatically may generate your mesh a finer where it's required more okay so now we need to go to static structure fix support our fix support is on the face which is this and this apply so our that both supports are fixed we'll now go to insert and we'll insert now we have to insert a talk and please apply some brains and try to read everything which is pressure hydraulic force remote bearing moment oh yeah torque and moments are same so i think it's okay so moment moment on uh, face uh, i think first we'll apply moment on some edges so select edge tool okay and on in this edge we just click apply now the C uh, and you can verify your force uh, applying condition by the units and as uh, uh, now many of you will be asking that the torque is applied of 2 kilo Newton meter and why are you uh, giving a moment uh, that's a very idiotic question actually but uh, both are same uh, the unit of moment here 
moment is also newton meter so obviously you can verify your question by watching the units okay so oh uh, yeah here the uh, let me just arrange it as per my question my question is like this and applying the torque on this that edge uh, that edge uh, direction is also given so the 2 kilo newton 2 kilo newton meter here and for direction you can just zoom in and see which direction it's pointing okay so direction is wrong actually direction should not be like that uh, and for direction wait a minute my scroll button yeah as you can see the direction is like this from like this okay so click on direction now as you can see a uh, one arrow a uh, horizontal arrow has appeared here on the screen and what that uh, arrow shows is uh, whenever you look from the tail to point of that arrow that horizontal arrow this one uh, it will say uh, it will be in clockwise direction so uh, we need arrow on this other side so we'll just click on here and apply see now from point of view of that arrow that horizontal arrow now a clockwise direction is this so the moment or the torque applied will be on this edge in clockwise direction and it's the required direction so same to same we need to do it on this edge okay so just go in static structure right click insert insert a moment uh, and in geometry click on this edge apply uh, and the uh, torque applied on that or the moment applied on that is 3000 newton meter okay we are good and the direction is perfect so we won't change any direction uh, directional changes are not done yeah uh, and uh, now we just need to calculate our result uh, so in solution we got deformation as usual we will check the uh, what we have calculated is radian angular moment I think uh, angular moments come stress fatigue contact volt okay so I am having hard time finding something I wish that oh oh very so uh, bending stresses I guess bending stresses uh the our final answer is in radian which is radian is angular momentum so i think that bending stresses will show that stress tool linearize uh, maximum energy strain energy stress member stress bending stress have we yeah bending stress we already have given deformation given strain uh, let's calculate strain let's calculate stress let's calculate uh, hmm. I actually noted one thing that I don't have beam tools in here why is that so contact tools what's what is in contact tools status oh uh, no we don't need that uh, fatigue tools what does fatigue tools have okay we still don't need that we'll delete it now let's just solve it the invalid current output control okay bending stresses okay we haven't selected the body of bending stresses okay so select body everything apply what apply yeah now it's good i think i have clicked somewhere else 
oh now just solve it okay invalid current output okay so this bending tool we have selected the geometry result okay we need uh, no formation never use this <laughs> display time okay what if we delete this and just solve it whenever there is error the red arrows come like have we seen in previous I never use that bending never use that bending stresses okay so our total deformation whoa What's that? Why ye kya ban gaya? Let's play it. It will be funny to look at it. <laughs> That's great. What's the maximum deformation? Zero point zero zero four six eight two meters. Is it that too much? Let's convert it into mm. mm yes now it's in mm 0 0.4682 it has deformed some extent as we can see let me make this window a bigger hey plate uh -huh. that's good look uh, how this both react to the momentum it's spinning in clockwise and it's spinning in anti-clockwise direction mm. deformation at this much point is zero there's a lot of deformation in here okay now let's stop that let's see, elastic strain uh, okay same and uh, equivalent stress that's to same to elastic strain stress is equal to strain it is safe uh, now do we need to calculate how can we calculate moment okay let it be now what we have to do is we just uh, if you we will change this talk from that edge to face uh, I think it doesn't really matters because whole face will be uh, uh, we can't apply that torque on of face okay let, for just tutorial purpose I will show you how to do that just delete this both moment again static structure insert uh, moment where is got okay moment we will first apply this to this face face rule is selected select this face apply okay uh, that window was hidden a bit uh, in geometry I have selected that face just go to geometry select that face and apply okay uh, now the moment of was how was the moment three kilo newton okay that was in meter let's change the unit to metric okay direction now I think its direction is good okay now let's add to this face insert a moment moment on this face apply and uh, it will be two kilo newtons and we need to change its direction I think yeah we need to just click on direction and click on time here apply yeah we are good 
we just need to calculate it one more time just click it solve it will solve i think if we apply moment directly on the face then the deformation will be maximum let's see total deformation yeah as i said the total deformation is maxi no it's quite no it's same okay okay it's same four five four six five six nine it's same so it doesn't really really matters where you apply the moment if it's on the edge or it's on a face uh, where it's acting it's a common sense i think but i've just proved it on ansys it's quite the same uh, okay so what we will do next is uh, yeah uh, i have to show it on space claim right so let's just cut it i'll just save it okay so i think i will give it a new file yes uh, i think i won't be saving this no i i will just save this file tut i space name i think that's space cla static structure geometry and in geometry oh yeah spelling is cla i am claim okay so create new space claim it's optional don't watch this tutorial uh, from here uh, the step by tutorial is over uh, i'm just showing you the extra feature of ansys now so you can quit this video if you don't want to watch it or if you are watching for just uh, knowledge then yeah it's good continue uh, space claim uh, is a bit uh, takes too much of memory because it... okay just start it already it will take too much of time okay okay oh yes okay the geometry editor was closed abnormally it's okay it's fine now this is the space claim uh, as ansys is uh, just for a uh, analysis purpose normally the objects made were were in uh, modeling software such as solid solidworks etc and they are imported from solidworks to ansys and then analysis is done but sometimes there there is some error like uh, meshes um, in meshing and uh, while importing some assemblies are not imported uh, perfectly the mating parts sometimes get coincided with each other and uh, while meshing in solid uh, sorry in ansys it creates problem in solving uh, and there are continuous error in solving so this is our space claim geometry uh, and we uh, we need to sketch some uh, step bar in it so let's do this we'll get normal to this z-axis and we'll get sketch now we have our sketch on this z-axis now uh, for going normal just click on this z-axis uh, here uh, as like a solidworks there is a sketch bar here mode bar here uh, now i mean uh, already in sketch so let's click on the circle make a circle hey, make a circle yeah good okay so we need to sketch and click on uh, one time on a mesh okay and uh, circle let's create a circle of diameter and red okay where is our circle now
okay let's draw one more as you can see we can't see our circle i don't know why that that's happening okay i got it now uh we were not able to see our circle because it's still sketch in yz plane okay for normal for going normal the, that tool is use sketch circle okay now we can see uh, we had a glance on our circle what the fuck wait a minute let's just pull trying to pull it out okay oh my scroll button it's not behaving properly is this a circle yeah it's a circle see the modeling in his software is so easy it's treating circle as a pentagon that is some dimensional error i think unit error let's just start once again no yaar new space claim okay fine let's get normal a circle from center oh the fuck no okay let's just give it diameter of 100 and uh, pull means geometry we'll just pull it okay is there something i can do uh, okay come on was terminated i pressed escape and i really hated hitting it i don't know why is this happening it never happened before actually okay i'll so this is space claim i will definitely put some videos on this how to sketch on this but i will do that later i need to find out what the error is i think there is some dimensional error so uh, we can right click and we still can import a geometry uh, i will show how to import a geometry plus first i need to select something which is like a geometry uh i need to find something in my i guess i think i have something okay yeah i have one chair uh it was sent by my friend let's copy that to here okay sldprt uh this means it's a solid works part sld means solid works and prt means part so let's import that chair how can we import that just right click on geometry import geometry and browse and from browse we know that we have put in in d local disk d and click on the chair and open now as you can see there is some image on here and is check marked 
just let's just open it in uh, edit geometry in design modeler or we can edit it in space claim we just open it in des uh, design modeler i think there is some issue with space claim i will definitely put a video on that okay so we don't see any geometry here because we need to generate something and let's just click on generate it will generate that body it's generating generating features four out of four import and Okay, progress is 80% warning number of uh, warning features name cannot be called. okay okay that's okay so as you can see he, the, here is our chair and uh, it's good I guess see we just need to minimize it go to the modeler edit the modeler and it's the same thing as always if you want to apply the force you can apply a force additional now it will import it okay it's imported <laughs> no it's not imported but it's still imported uh, now uh, we have a chair uh, let's mesh it and I would like to mesh it by uh, Go to sizing adaptive change adaptive to proximity and curvature <coughs> Okay, so let's just generate a mesh everything's fine it will take some time done our meshing is done and as you can see uh, mesh is quite good okay so the normal person sitting okay so we need to convert uh, the four weight into newtons go to static structure insert uh, fix support will give fix support in beneath the face is selected press hold and press control and click on this four apply and uh, now we are good <coughs> We don't have wood material in ANSYS, so uh, or I think I don't have access to it yet. Let's apply force on this plane. It should be of uh, okay. So normal person weight, adult human weight should be uh, 80 kg, I guess, 80 into 9.81. It should be okay so we'll apply force around so the 18 to 9.81 is 784.8 so we'll apply force about let's apply thousand newton thousand is good oh uh, yeah let's just select the geometry this geometry apply and uh, direction not upwards uh, for changing direction here is two two sided arrow just click on that done apply and we'll see the deformation that's what we always do that's our job in designing uh, while designing you actually don't uh, give preference to deformation you see the stress and strain induced in that object and if they are more than the yield strength of that material the design is not safe and uh, deformation doesn't matter that much because deformation is always smaller if you it doesn't matter deformation if your model is beneath your elastic limit
okay now total deformation hey 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 look how laggy it is wow now as you can see our mesh has maximum deformation on the top that's ridiculous actually but it's fine our legs has it's not that much deformation actually and it, though it's the steel oh, i think wood and uh, normally chairs are made of woods and plastic uh, materials so let's just hold it up there yeah it's good uh, and now let's end this tutorial here i think i have covered everything and uh, how to apply forces how to design uh, and it entirely depends on uh, your uh, examiner and it's uh, okay i'm just closing it thank you for watching this is mr isometric and uh, if you liked my video then uh, please give a thumbs up and do subscribe if you want to learn more about this software uh, i am a bit fast i am a learning learner too and uh, i think i have made too many videos without my voice uh, so yeah thank you